slug it out for three rounds. Alex, what do we have? Round one, last weekend at UFC 277, there were both undisputed and interim titles on the line. However, each belt looks identical in appearance. Do you think interim titles should be changed to silver? I think that that's a very interesting idea. This was uh, this was a fan question that we had, and I think it's a, I, I don't know, I'm not sold completely, but it's a good idea, like, it's, a, it's an interesting idea. I see where you're going. No. The BMF title is silver. It's cobalt. Whatever the difference is <laughs> that I am... Never mind. I, it doesn't matter. No, I think that the color is perfect. I think that if you, whether you are a champion or interim champion, you should have gold. Champion is gold. Fair. Round two. The Jake Paul fight against Haseem Rahman Jr. has been canceled, allegedly due to weight issues for Haseem. What are your thoughts on the problems for the problem child? Verbal meme. Haha. Ha. I'm not surprised, MFers. Yeah, I'm really not either. You know, I mean, uh, did I anyone think, really think that this was going to happen? I don't think Haseem was uh, was prepared really for for the weight situation. And then also, I think that what Dana said was kind of spot on. They were trying to do this at MSG, and MSG to book that venue is so freaking expensive. And when you have to rely on your live gate because you know you're just the the draw of your streams is no longer there. You only did two hundred thousand for your last pay per view. That's basically that's, you know, if we're, we're talking in relation to like where UFC pay-per-view money starts, you start getting your payout after, a, you know, somewhere in the 200,000 range. Mm -hmm. Like for those of you who don't know the business side for the championships who get pay-per-view points, that's where your earnings start. That's what means that that's what they when you're at the point where the, the promotion has finally recouped what their investment was to make it happen. Yeah, I think that they were significantly short of where they needed to be, and they were going to take a massive kick in the shorts financially from this card, and that is the true reason why it was canceled. That's just me. Yes, I do have my tinfoil hat on for that one. This guy. But this guy. I think that when it comes to the business side of things, that's what makes more sense. You know, it's all making sense now. You do look like the kid that played in the Circles movie. You the know corn, what? The, the corn maze. I wish I had his royalty checks. <laughs> Third and final round. The reboot of the classic film Roadhouse has officially been given the green light by Amazon Prime Video with Conor McGregor set to play a role alongside Jake Gyllenhaal. What do you think of this? I absolutely hate this. What? Roadhouse is my Favorite movie of all time. No, this I is hated this great move. when they announced it way back like seven years ago that Ronda Rousey was going to be back in the fold. I absolutely hate the thought of them rebooting this. I can't stand it when Hollywood goes through and recycles these ideas and hey, hey, remakes hey. movies that were classics and they suck when they come back out. Hey. The remake is never as good as that one. I'm sorry. Calm I'm on a down, rat. Pumpkin. You're just going to have to sit there for a second because this is my favorite movie. I am not going to sit here for this travesty that Amazon Prime has greenlit and decided to put Conor McGregor, who can't even speak English, the way that <laughs> Dalton did in the role. Opinions vary. Hey, just imagine. Just imagine this. Imagine. If the scene is set. Here it is. Conor McGregor in his Irish accent. Roundhouse. Well, I mean, right the, to the face. The saying I and thought you would like, be bigger would for sure fit to Connor. Roadhouse. Like, I can't do his accent. It's not going to be good. I don't want to embarrass myself that bad. But I think this is absolutely hilarious. I think, yeah, Roadhouse is a great movie. You know, just like Footloose and all those old <laughs> movies like that. It's great. It's good. It's awesome. You did not just compare Roadhouse to Footloose. Your boy did. Conor McGregor is going to make this movie so freaking good. And not even Conor McGregor. Oh God, walk off. Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal is in the movie. It's an obvious box office hit. It's not even going to be in a box. Amazon, I'll buy it on Amazon for sure. I, it's, a, it's just not something. You heard I'm it here, folks. Roadhouse I, I and Footloose idea. are on the I same level. It. 16 it. Candles. What is that uh, movie, 16 Candles? Yeah, that's about the same thing. Yeah. Brutal. 
this guy over here <laughs> throwing out these references. Not even applicable. Dirty Dancing. Not, not Dirty even Dancing. Applicable. They all are in the same realm of movies in my mind. How is that even? Those are all half chick flicks, and we're talking Roadhouse, the ultimate movie for guys who like movies. Like I don't want to go we're out on here and like throw opposite s- ends of the spectrum All here, right, Josh. Guys, I'll friend. admit it. I'll throw myself under the bus. I've never seen Roadhouse. The closest yeah. thing I've seen to Roadhouse is Peter Griffin. Yeah, he's talking about the Family Guy that. reference over here. I knew as soon as he said Roadhouse, the way that he said Roadhouse, that that's all that he's going off of over here. You know what? You need to do yourself the favor tonight and go tune in to Roadhouse. Roadhouse. <laughs> Folks, we are all out of time. We want to thank you all so much for following us along each and every week. If you are watching along online, make sure that you smash that subscribe button as well as hit the bell so you do not miss a drop. Like we say, our sponsorship package is open right now for the book. So if you want to see your business advertised on the MMA plug, please reach out to me, Jordan Kurtz, at Comments from the Peanut Gallery or Josh Fremd at Josh Fremd MMA, as well as our partners, the Talk of Colorado at the Talk of Colorado. We want to give a thank you to Ryan from the Talk of Colorado and our guest producer here this week, Alex Becker. Alex Becker. This is the MMA Plug presented to you by the Talk of Colorado on 98.1 FM, Mile High Sports Radio. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like, share, and subscribe button that helps us continue to produce this original MMA content and bring it for you every single week. Tune in to the MMA Plug presented by DenverSportsBetting.com on 98.1 FM, Mile High Sports Radio on Wednesday nights from 6 to 7 p.m. Or live stream at DenverSportsBetting.com slash radio.